hi everyone today we are going to learn how to check a given number exists in the array or not okay suppose given array is this one okay elements in the given array is 1 2 9 7 5 and given number is 7 so this 7 number exists in this array okay here so if a number exists in the given array then we will return index okay according to our question read line number 2 okay suppose we need to look for number 17 so 17 number doesn't exist in this given array so we will return minus 1 according to our equation okay so we can write index as 0 1 2 3 4 so suppose we need to look for number 7 so 7 number exists in this array so we will return 3 index okay and suppose we need to look for number 17 so we will uh, look for number 17 in this whole array so it doesn't exist in this array so we will return minus 1 okay cool so how we can check this given number 7 exists in this array or not so we can traverse through this array by for loop okay i at and at each element we will check if if this element is equal to given number or not so array of i array of i means 1 1 is not equal to 7 so we will move ahead okay because this condition is false and again 2 is not equal to 7 so again we will go to next element okay 9 is also not equal to 7 so this condition is false again we will move to next element so 7 is equal to given number 7 so this condition is true so we will return this index which is 3 suppose we need to look for number 17 so this number is not equal to a given number and array of i is also not equal to given number 2 is not equal to 17 9 is not equal to 17 7 is not equal to 17 5 is not equal to 17 okay so it means this number 17 doesn't exist in this array so we will return minus 1 okay cool so now we are going to write javascript program for this question so array is given okay and elements in this array are 1 to 9 5 7 okay number is also given number equal to 7 so we can run a for loop like bar index equal to 0 then index less than array dot length okay index plus plus so we can have if condition if array of index equal to equal to given number then so first we will print this index so why we can print anything by using console dot talk so here we will print index so we found given number in the array then we will break our for loop okay cool so now we will run this program and we will see the output 3 so index will start from here okay and so array of index so it will be 1 and given number will be 7 so this condition is not true okay so for number 2 also this condition is not true for number 9 also this condition is not true now we will move to next element which is 7 okay so we will check for array of index it will be 7 and number is also 7 this condition is true so at line number 12 we will print index which is 3 see here line number 5 and we will break our for loop okay so suppose given number is 5 so we need to check 5 exists in this area or not so now we again i will run this program and we will see the output so c4 so it is it is 4 is index of number 5 in the area okay c line number 5 suppose we need to look for 15 so 15 doesn't exist in, in this area okay see so first we will start from 0th index okay so if condition will be false okay so we will move to next element 
okay we can move to next element by index plus plus so we will increment our index so next index will be 1 okay so array of 1 will represent 2 so again this if condition is false again we will move to next element again this condition false now also this condition is false okay again we will increment our index so in, in this index will become 5 and our array dot length is also 5 okay because we have 5 elements in the given array so 5 less than 5 here it will become like this 5 less than 5 so this condition will become false and this so we will come out this for loop okay cool so 15 number doesn't exist in the q and a array so we need to print minus 1 according to question c line number 2 okay so what we can do we can apply else if condition here else if so when we was we were we are checking last element in the given array then itself we can say uh, like 15 number doesn't exist in this array okay so if index equal to equal to array dot length minus 1 it means we are checking last element and this condition is false for last element also okay it means 15 is not equal to 5 so then we will come into else if condition so here we can check uh, uh, this is last element and it is also not matching this if condition also so we will we can return we can print here console.log minus 1 okay cool okay now i will run this program and we will see the output minus 1 okay now for number 15 suppose we need to check 5 then it should print 4 okay now suppose we need to check 1 number 1 exists in this array or not so it will print 0 index okay cool so already we know a little bit of our function and if you haven't gone through previous session then i will put link in the description below okay so like we can have array index or function okay and in this function we can print function is called okay now you can call this function so here we need to call this function also now we will run this program and we will see the output so it is printing function is called so what we can do we can move this for loop logic to inside this function this logic we can move inside this function okay cool so at line number 13 we have defined this function and at line number 25 we are calling this function okay so again i will run this program and we will see the output so see here line number 25 we, i am calling this function and since array is defined globally so it it will be accessible from this function also okay we are able to access this array in this function also okay if you want to make this array uh, locally then you you need to pass this array as a argument at line number 25 and we can have some parameter here like array and uh, through th this parameter you can access this array inside this function body okay cool so at line number 25 we are calling this function and since array and number both variables are global so it will be accessible inside this function body also and by running by running this for loop we are printing index of given number okay cool suppose i need to check for number 5 then it will print fourth index okay suppose i need to check for number 15 then it will print minus 1 okay so 
so according to question we need to return index okay see read line number two instead of printing we need to return index so what we can do at line number 16 we can return index okay so whenever uh, we found found number in the given array then we will return this index so we don't need this break keyword because whenever we found a element in the given array we will return from this function okay okay so no longer this for loop will be executed okay so we don't need this break keyword here also if number doesn't exist in this given array then we will return minus one okay now i will run this program and we will see the output so line number 24 we are calling this function so i think nothing will will be printed here because we don't have console.log anywhere in the program so nothing will get printed i will run this program see here so nothing nothing is printed here so what is happening here line number 24 we are calling this function and it is returning index so number 15 it will return minus 1 so generally it will return either index or minus 1 okay so so right now it is returning minus 1 because we are looking for 15 number see line number 8 so we need to cap capture this return return value in some variable like we can have another variable return value So at line number 24, if we now if now we call this function, then it will return minus one, and we can store minus one in this variable, okay? And we can print this variable here. Okay, cool. So now I will run this program, and we will see the output. See, minus one is printed. Suppose we need to look for five number. Again, I will run this program and we will see the output. See, four is get printed. Okay. So uh, at line number 24, we are declaring a variable. So uh, it will take some space in the memory. So what we can do is instead of declaring this extra variable, we can call this function directly inside console.talk. Okay. So we can save that. At, at that this is this okay extra express so what it will happen at line number 25 it will return some index or minus one and we will throw console.log we will print that index again i will run this program and we will see the output so it will print four if it was 15 then it will print minus one okay cool so so uh, this uh, array index of method we have created our own so in javascript uh, there is already inbuilt function like suppose we have this array and suppose we have in text variable and we can get we can use inbuilt function which is index of okay we can we can use this index of in as a we can use this inbuilt index of function so like we need to find out index of ninth ninth number so here uh, the, uh, we are calling index of function at given array okay so it will return index so we can print this variable index so now i will run this program we will see the output so it is printing two okay because nine nine number is available at second index c line number five okay suppose uh, we are looking for 19 number c line number 11 then it will it will return minus one okay so when we will run this program and we will see the output so it will print minus one c here okay so either you can use inbuilt index of function in the javascript or you can create your own okay 